What is up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, y'all, so we're going to start off this reading with angel numbers, and we're going to see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. So if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you need to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, let's go. All right, Scorpio, let me take these three right here. So we have the number two. Stay positive and keep your eye on the prize, baby. Even when hard times occur, keep the faith and stay positive. So I feel like some of my Scorpios, y'all been through the struggle like I have, you know? And I feel like, you know, sometimes, especially when you're struggling, when you're going through this shit, Scorpio, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, because sometimes I be feeling like, <laughs> I be feeling fucked up telling y'all this shit. Then when I go through this shit, I have to remind my own damn self. Ooh, excuse me, you know? But I feel like, you know, you've been through some roller coaster of emotions, roller coaster of everything. But Spirit is wanting you to stay positive. Keep your eye on the prize. We all got a prize. We all got some type of goal that we're trying to achieve. And so even when we're in the midst of the bullshit, you just have to remind yourself, okay, well, this is my goal. I'm doing this to do this. Like, trouble don't last always, okay? Even when those hard times occur, Scorpio, Spirit is wanting you to keep the faith and stay positive. Why, Scorpio? Because confirmation that your prayers are being answered, something that you guys have been praying for, something that you have been manifesting, Holy Spirit has heard you, and they're like, all right, Scorpio, we got you. So if you're seeing this number, this is confirmation. That's something that you've been praying for. Something that you've been manifesting, Scorpio, is about to come into fruition, okay? We also have 6-6. Six, six. Your angels are, gu are guiding and assisting you with manifesting your goals and desires. Keep your thoughts positive. So I feel like this, the overall message for you guys is keep your thoughts positive. And I know sometimes we be like, man, this shit ain't going to happen. Or this ain't going to, you know, we always kind of be negative. Especially when it's taking a long ass time for shit to come into fruition. But Spirit is saying they're assisting us with our goals, with our manif manifestations, you know, the things that we're wanting to have. They're assisting us with these things. But we got to remember shit. Miracles and shit. Now, some miracles do happen overnight. But some of the shit we want, Scorpio, is going to take a little time. And we just have to learn to be patient, okay? All right. So let's pull some love messages here. Let's see what it is that Holy Spirit wants you guys to know. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What it do, Scorpio? Been a couple days, y'all. Y'all know. Be in and out sometimes. But when I come back, you know I got you, right? All right, Holy Spirit. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. Cards I want to say in my hand. What is the Holy Spirit that Scorpio needs to know? What is it? All right. So out the gate, we got ego. So someone, Scorpio, let their pride get in the way of their of you guys' connection. So you were dealing with somebody who had a big-ass ego. And this is someone who was operating out of their ego. So everything that this person did, and I mean everything, Scorpio, it was their ego. It wasn't them. And that's I know that's like, huh? Yeah, everything for some of you people operate out of their ego sometimes. And it's like when they allow their ego to tell them to operate and run their whole life, this is what people do. You know, and a lot of times these people ruin connections, they ruin friendships, relationships, you know what I'm saying, family members, work relationships, all of because they got a big ass ego. They ego telling them all they this and they did, you know what I'm saying, and putting other people below them, thinking that they're better than other people. So you were de dealing with someone who had a big ass ego, and now they're wanting to admit that they let their ego get in the way of this connection that you share, okay? Tell us more how this did it. Messages for my Scorpios. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? But this is someone, Scorpio, that finds you to be irreplaceable. So you were dealing with someone who had a big-ass ego, and their ego interfered with this connection that you shared, okay? This could have been a friendship, relationship, husband, wife, whomever it was. 
But I feel like this is someone that fear, that feels like you're irreplaceable. No matter what they do, Scorpio, your energy, your love, the way that you love, Scorpio, that shit can't be matched with nobody else out here, male or female. Y'all take it how it resonates. Messages from my Scorpios. But someone, Scorpio, is trying to move on. They want a new chapter. So this could be your energy, Scorpio. Maybe you're wanting a new chapter in life. You're trying to move on from this person and whoever has this big-ass ego. Okay, this could be someone that you're dealing with. They're trying to move on from a situation or a person, and they're the ones that's wanting some type of new chapter. Y'all take it how it resonates. But someone here is wanting, like, some type of new beginning. So you could be seeing 111, Scorpio, 1111. And these can be like confirmation that either you're trying to move on or this could be this person trying to move on from someone else. We'll pull, let's see. All right, tell us more, Holly Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What my beautiful and handsome Scorpios need to know. So whoever this is, Scorpio, they have been reminiscing about this connection okay some of you guys used to sit up and tell jokes y'all used to joke around play around you know have a good ass time some of you this could be your twin you know because the energy between you and your divine counterpart is real lighthearted it's carefree it's like two big ass kids just coming together and having a, a good ass time so someone here is reminiscing about you know the, the loving time the happier time the better times of this connection okay so someone could be like in the six of cups energy right now all these damn things going on hold on scorpio okay tell us a little bit more and then we're gonna pull and see what the energy is we're gonna see exactly who this is that had a big ass ego that's reminiscing and who wants this new chapter with you okay tell us more holly spirit messages for my scorpios Ah, but Scorpio, someone here was unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. This landed on new chapter. So this could be you, Scorpio. Maybe you were the one that was unsatisfied and you had to move on because you weren't happy with the connection that you had with this person. Or Scorpio, this could be this person. You know, they're trying to move on from someone else because they're not happy with this connection, this marriage or whatever, this relationship that they have. Like I can say, y'all take it how it resonate here. So someone here is trying to move on, okay? I feel like for some of you, your person is trying to move on from like a, a third party or someone else they could have been dealing with before you guys met. And I feel like a lot of you are trying to move on from this person here. Let's get a couple of more messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? All right, Scorpio, conversation. This person, Scorpio, wants to call and they want to hear your voice. So this is someone that you are not communicating with at this time. Some of you, you can be in separation with this person, but they just want to call. For some of you, shit, they may just call you and don't even say shit. You done had somebody call you, Scorpio, and they say shit. You should be like, hello, hello. You know what I'm saying? This person just want to hear, like, that's how bad they want to hear your voice. They ain't really got shit to say to you. They just want to hear your damn voice. Let's get one more. Hmm. Messages for my Scorpios. And this is someone that sabotaged this connection, okay? So whoever this was that had this big-ass ego, they realized that their ego and how they operated, the way they moved, the way they handled you, every fucking thing that they did, Scorpio, they sabotaged this connection. This is someone who feels like they always seem to mess up good things in their life, okay? So someone feels like as soon as they get something good, you know, they always find a way to fuck it up. So someone here like, damn, I didn't, oops. What Britney Spears said, oops, I did it again. Okay, somebody feel like, oops, I did it again. Like, I done fucked up again. Like, every time I get something good, every time something starts going good in my life, like, this is someone that always finds a way to fuck that shit up. I feel like for some of you, this could be someone that's scared. Like, this could be someone that's maybe scared of, of love or they're scared of something because it's like every time this person gets something it's like they always find a way to fuck it up tell us more holy spirit so what is the energy around this reading i just seen leo and gemini some of you could be dealing with either one of those signs we'll see if they come out so what is the energy around this reading holy spirit 
messages for my Scorpios. What is the energy stone to take? Because I see it again. We got Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini here. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? Tell us the energy around this reading. We got some nice cards here. So tell us the energy around this reading. All right, some of you guys, this person want to let you know, baby, they are not going anywhere, okay? So you could be trying to energetically disconnect your energy from this person, but it seems like, you know, it'd be hard. Some days you be good, and some days you feel this person's energy. But I feel like this is someone that's clinging on to your energy, baby, for dear life, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. I feel like it's because this person realized they sabotaged this connection. This is why this person is energetically you know, hanging on to you because they realize they sabotage. And I feel like this is someone who, you know, they're going to want another turn. I want another chance with you. I feel like they're going to have to figure out how. But, you know, they feel they feel like you were something good in their life. And somehow they fucked that shit up. All right, Holy Spirit. So what is the energy around this reading? Messages? Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at this, Scorpio. This is somebody who is now open to love. Yeah, so when this person was in, in oh, shit. When this person was operating out of their ego, they weren't open to love, or they at least could have convinced themselves, you know, that they weren't open to love. They weren't open to a relationship. They weren't looking for a commitment. You know, this could have been someone that convinced themselves they were just looking for fun. Or they was want to have, you know, a, a sex with no strings attached type shit. But this is someone now they're open to love. Yes, because they realize they sabotage this shit. I'm telling you, whoever this person is, I'm, I'm picking up the energy of heavy, heavy regret because this is someone like they tend to fuck up good shit in their life. But I feel like this is someone like they have to go through some type of ego death okay they have to get their ego checked or something because they it's like they're operating out of their pride but i feel like this is someone who wants a new chapter with you because they're open to love with you tell us more holy spirit messages for my scorpio tell us more some of you could be dealing with an aries here I feel like for some of you, this is someone who didn't want to be held accountable for their actions, okay? So because of this person's ego and their pride, Scorpio, it wouldn't allow this person to take accountability for what they did to you, okay? So this is someone who I feel like regardless of how many times you tried to explain how you felt or, or the way they made you feel, it was like they didn't understand that shit. And it was their ego because their ego kept telling them they didn't do shit wrong. You know, this could have been someone that was like, oh, you just too sensitive or you just too this. And you just too dead, but it was their ego that wasn't allowing them to be empathetic, you know, to your feelings and your perspective and be able to see shit your way and then be able to take accountability for what they did wrong here. Ooh, look at this communication. Some of you guys are going to get some type of communication because we got conversation. I want to call and hear your voice. Okay, so this could be communication. And we had this six here. I can't make this up, you guys. Okay, this is some type of Someone that could be ending some type of cycle. So someone here could have been in a karmic cycle or stuck in a karmic cycle with a with a karmic. But this is someone that's choosing to move away from conflict. So I feel like for some of you, once this person does this, once they move away from, from this conflict, because like I said, this is someone that's trying to move on from someone else. I can't make this shit up. Once they move away from this conflict or whoever this person was that was holding them back, this is when you're going to receive this communication. This is when this person's going to call you. You know, they're going to reach out and talk to you. So let's pull. Let me get my answer in time. All right, Scorpio, some of you could also be seeing 666 as well, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, so can you tell us about this communication? Messages for my Scorpios. Can you tell us about this communication? What can my Scorpios do? Expect to receive some type of communication. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this communication. When can my Scorpios expect this? Okay, so Scorpio, some of you guys, this is going to happen on a rainy day. Okay, we got no longer waiting. Some of you guys, this can happen soon. Messages for my Scorpios. Y'all know retrograde coming. So whoever this is for, this is definitely going to happen on a cloudy, rainy day, okay? 
is when you're going to receive some type of communication. It could be cloudy outside. It could be raining on and off. Okay, spirit is wanting you to forgive, forgive yourself, possibly forgive this person as well. Because before you can forgive anybody else, you must have to, you must first forgive yourself, okay? Can you tell us about this communication, Holy Spirit, at night? <laughs> all right, you guys, this communication, they're giving us all the little details except when it's coming in, okay? So we got on a cloudy day, on a rainy day, this can happen at night. Let me pull a little bit more. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Ooh, I see Friday. It's today Friday, Scorpio. I should have took that. I seen Friday. Oh, okay. August. All right. So, Scorpio, some of you can receive this communication in August, okay? And then we got Saturday. So, this can happen tomorrow or this can happen on a Saturday here, okay? All right, Scorpio. So, let's get the signs. Who do we have? We have Gemini and Aries. So, let's see who this reading is about for my Scorpios. All right, you can be dealing with, we got Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo. We got Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Sag. And we have Heavy Cancer, Pisces, and Sag. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.